The San Francisco Volcanic Field, located on the southern edge of the Colorado Plateau, north of Flagstaff, Arizona, is home to 600 volcanoes that date as far back as six million years. Today, we are taking you on a stunning hike on the Kachina Trail to explore this area. Join us as we journey through towering pine and aspen forests, pause at scenic overlooks for mesmerizing views, and make our way through meadows of tall, wavy grasses that reveal some of Arizona's highest peaks. Our journey begins at the Kachina Trailhead, about 14 miles north of central Flagstaff. It's close to other must-visit spots, like Aspen Corner, the Aspen Loop Trail, Arizona Snow Bowl, and Humphreys Peak, the tallest peak in Arizona. The drive up North Snow Bowl Road to the trailhead is a scenic experience in itself, with stunning views of the surrounding peaks. In autumn, the aspen trees here turn a brilliant shade of gold, creating one of the most beautiful sights in Arizona's high country. The Kachina Trail stretches 5.2 miles from the trailhead to the Weatherford Trail and is an out-and-back hike. About 1.3 miles into our hike, we also took a side path to a scenic overlook before getting back on the main trail and continuing the rest of our hike to the trail's end. The trailhead has plenty of parking and leashed dogs are allowed on the trail, but restrooms and water are not available here. However, portable toilets are available nearby at the Aspen Loop Trail parking lot. The path begins as a soft, packed dirt trail, weaving through thick pine and aspen forests and winding around boulders. In the fall, the groves of aspen trees turn magnificent shades of gold, glistening in the sun's warm rays. Approximately 1.3 miles into the hike, you will encounter a spot where the trail seems to veer off to the left. This side path leads to a scenic overlook with stunning views of the valley below and the towering peaks to the north. Many hikers mistakenly follow this route, thinking it's the main trail. You'll want to take a moment to enjoy the view, but be sure to backtrack and rejoin the main trail which is marked by a sign on a fallen tree. Further up the trail, you'll come across a number of small caves and large boulders, perfect spots for photos or to take a break. The trail also passes through sections affected by past wildfires, where fallen logs contrast with fresh new growth, a reminder of nature's resilience and the cycles of rebirth in this forest. Later, 
the trail crosses a creek bed and re-emerges directly on the other side. Initially, the trail may seem to disappear. However, just walk directly across the creek bed and look for the trail between the fallen trees. For several miles, the trail then alternates between winding through groves of trees and open meadows. The trail is narrow in places, with the tall grasses overlapping the trail, so you'll want to wear long pants for this hike. These meadows offer sweeping views of the San Francisco peaks, including Agassiz and Humphreys peaks. The trail eventually ends where it meets the Weatherford Trail, a perfect spot to pause, reflect on the journey, and take in the scenery before hiking back. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this guide to hiking the Kachina Trail. If you found this trail guide helpful, please give it thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos for exploring Arizona.